You can do it to sleep. Oh my gosh. I don't even know like what to say. And I can't really scream because I'm in a hostel. So I'll just do this. Ladies and gentlemen, to that, to she, to her, to this season to be jolly because I'm back on your screens, baby. Where have you been? You're the reason I'm having trust issues. Can't you tell me? Why are you lying to us? You said next week you've been a whole year. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Can't you see? I'm still to pick up a phone and record. You gained a bit of weight. See, you and I, you and I both know that you want to beat me up. But do you really want me to do the whole video like this? Or like this? Or even like this? No. Oh. I've had some of the glow. Let's appreciate this more. And it's not like I don't know. I don't. I've disappeared for like a good year. Or maybe two. And I genuinely understand like how hard it's been on some of you. Some of you have been going into clinics, doctors, over the past year, and they've been telling you that yo, I'm not young malnourished. You know, you know, you're lacking vitamin B, D, F, Z. You've tried so many things, and it's, it's just not been working. Well, I'm here to break it to you that the only vitamin you've been lacking is vitamin B. Anyways. I'm back. I feel like I need more energy. I'm back. I know I'm supposed to be more spontaneous since this is like my sixth I'm back video. I'm getting older. I can't be jumping around like that, you know? The bones. Plus now I'm a big girl. We don't, we don't jump around aimlessly, you know? We, we, we pit up. <laughs> and like, we've been through this process before. First, I say I'm back, and then I bust out my super cool dance moves, make you laugh, give you a great video, and then proceed to disappear for like nine months, maybe even ten months, possibly even like two years, and not post on my socials anymore, and then just live quietly on my Breakers and Mountain. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So let's address the elephant in the room. As you guys realize, I don't see it myself off your screen. And over the past year, I kid you not, at least every two weeks, I get somebody texting me with video. Masa, where are posts? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> life just life. The experiences were experiencing. I definitely had a year of growth. Like you see that scripture that talks about like, how God like prunes you and like pleasures you in order to like, you know, refine you. In that sense, it's kind of like a pun. But in my perspective, I feel like see God took me like to see and pounded the foolishness out of me. When I first started my channel, I knew that like this is what I wanted to do. So everything just fell into place so perfectly. Like editing came easy to me, ideas came easy to me. Before I got into my YouTube channel, there were so many different hobbies and things that I got into looking for something that I could be passionate about. And when I started recording videos, everything was so fun and easy and just really amazing. But obviously I can't be an SHS student forever. So when I came to uni and there were so many responsibilities and stuff, it was genuinely very difficult to be able to incorporate my YouTube into this new phase of life. So I stopped. I did not want to be posting videos once a month and then disappearing and then coming back. Because this is something that I really love. And one key thing about God is that he knows how to reach you. He knows when to tell me, okay, go and buy the travel. And one thing I've realized is to trust God's timing compared to what everybody else wants you to do. 
because Charlie, I've been through. It's been a very personal development type of season. Very to myself, very quiet. And you know, I'm not that quiet of a person. I'm a certified doctor. Take me to the Olympics. I'd be a mess. Take me to Yapafun. Oh. Bring me the gold medals. And it wasn't just my YouTube, I stopped posting like everywhere in general. I mean, I posted a picture on my Instagram earlier this year. I was looking cute, I was looking good. With the caption, little miss signs and wonders. You see the caption was good. You see it was like, yeah. <laughs> what were the first comments on that picture? Oh, slay. No. Pretty girl. No. Oh my gosh, baddie. No. Oh my beautiful girlfriend, you look so pretty. <laughs> no. Top comment. Little miss disappeared from YouTube. <laughs> I screamed. I screamed. You people really know how to hold somebody accountable. But it's fine because the peer pressure eats me up every time and I'm back. And if I'm being very honest with you guys, I love social media. But I could also go the rest of my life without it. Perfectly fine. Everyone around me knows I kind of exist in my own bubble anyways. Like the way the Instagram girlies are always going now. Monday, Bloomba. Tuesday, Beach. Wednesday, Maintenance. Friday, Club. That's not the case for me. I need a schedule plus like two to three business days to mentally prepare myself to go out. The idea of we are going out, yeah, 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 it ended after COVID. We stepped out for fresh air and came back inside. Like, I come from a culture of if you go out this week, you will not go out next week. Stay in your house and appreciate your home. So, yes, we don't go out like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna really have to learn how to be present. And that's it for the life update, guys. So, I think you guys already know everything you need to know. I'm still in school. Yes. Wrong way, yes. the yes. academic I weapon. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still single. Yeah. Shocking. And now I realize that no, it's not the devil working against me. It's God working in my favor. Because men, men. And now I'm no longer a teenager. I'm 20. <laughs> Anyway, since transitioning from teenager to adulthood, I don't think I've really noticed any major changes in myself. I still feel like a child. The only difference right now is for me that like I have hair and I put on nails. Even though like they're not really on right now, because yeah, on a financial break. When I was younger, I genuinely used to think that like having nails equaled maturity. Like if you wore nails, you were grown. Top of the top. Rich hands. It took me coming to uni to realize that like if you get these for like what? Why did nobody tell me? I used to think they costed a house down payment. Now the biggest question I've been asked since saying that I'm starting my YouTube again is will my content switch up? Because the last time you guys saw me, I was a young girl discovering the woes of high school. And now I'm a young girl discovering the worlds of college you know what has changed because the worlds of college too have really been boring like whoa 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 <laughs> <coughs> so now the question is if i want to transition perfectly from being a teenager to being an adult how do i do that i need to fully be able to emulate the ball what the adults wear, what the adults do, how the adults think. And am I really an adult? We may never know. <laughs> Until we take a bus trip, Chris. Gosh. Question number one. Do you know how to do your own laundry? The answer is yes. Stop, stop. Yeah, yeah. It, it's empty, guys. Yeah. It's empty. I can add as many laugh tracks and standing ovations as I want to, you know. It's my channel. Don't complain. Question two, can you cook at least three different recipes? You know, Indomie is a recipe. I'm not saying that's all I can cook. 
So I'm gonna take yes. Some people may beg to differ, but that's okay. Everybody has caters. Well, number four, do you know how to change a tire? I know this is gonna surprise some people, but yes. I know how to change a tire. I know how to change a tire. <laughs> Do you set your own dentist appointments? No. Do you go to the dentist every six months? I'm gonna say yes because I just got my teeth cleaned by my sister because she's a dentist. It was a wonderful experience and I would 10 out of 10 recommend everybody going to her. Okay. Do you arrive to school or like on time most days? Guys. I I am Miss Punctuality. I put the E in early. And in fact everybody around me will say the same thing. Hey, you listen, will. The listeners is getting out of hand though. Your listeners. That's the question I'm going to ask. Do you arrive? Do you arrive? No. Are we no. 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 The answer is no. Do you Do you pay for your own Netflix? No. Listen up, if you are a last one and you are paying for your own subscriptions. What are you doing with your life? You are undermining the grace of God upon your life. What is the use of siblings? Be mindful of why you were invited to be the younger sibling. Do you pay for your own flights? No. But if you want to pay for my flights, my mobile number is 54 632 Do you have at least one plant in your house that you kept alive for more than six months? The day I buy a plant, I'm a woman. Forget biology, forget cycles. The day I buy a plant with my money, I am a woman. I am a homeowner. I am a caregiver. I am a mother. Forget the children. <laughs> Last question Do you have a skincare routine? Yes. I mean, I have one. The question didn't ask if I followed through with it, okay? You got 43% adult. You're doing a pretty good job of bumbling through adulthood without too many people noticing that you have no actual clue what you're doing. You're basically a big kid with a full-size body. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to show you guys everything I have planned coming up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below anything else you want to see. Oh, I can feel the YouTuber in me. Bye! My phone is here, my keys are in the door, and I don't own a wallet, otherwise the answer to this question would be no. <laughs> Do you eat at least some vegetables every day? You know, I've been known to indulge in ketchup from time to time. Do you enjoy watching documentaries? I don't think I've actually ever watched a documentary. You know, I actually started watching it just as a joke, but wow, that is cinema. Do you have a good idea of what you want to do with your life? Would I be filming this video if I did? No. Hi guys, this is the best, this is the, this is the best version of the people in the room. Huh? I'm just put crickets in the background. <laughs>